are making a mixed nut milk. So this is a great recipe just to kind of throw in your fridge for the week. Most people buy milk on a daily basis, so this is just a healthier version that will help you to save money. So we started with just soaking a variety of nuts. Maybe you have some extra nut nuts in the cupboard. You can use walnuts, almonds, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, that's the mixture I used, and then I put them in a measuring cup soaked them overnight in water, and I actually threw in just a little piece of vanilla bean, which you could get at any grocery store to just kind of sweeten it up. So once I drain it and rinse the nuts, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna take about one cup of nuts, I'm gonna throw it into my Nutribullet container here, and usually when making nut milk, you want a ratio between one cup nuts to three cups of water. So we're gonna throw the water in. And then of course, sometimes you like a little sweetener to your milk. We're gonna add some vanilla extract. So this is really good vanilla extract. You could buy a good quality at the grocery store if you wanted. The more the merrier. And then if you wanna sweeten it up from there, a lot of recipes call for honey or agave nectar. You could simply just add in a couple dates, a couple figs. This will just be a natural sweet that you will help to sweeten up the milk, give it a nice flavor. So we're just gonna screw on the cap, and then we're gonna screw it on nice and tight and throw it right into our Nutribullet and blend it up until smooth. So after about 30 seconds or so, you have a nice creamy milk and I don't like to strain my milk normally because I like that extra fiber and the extra pulp and a little goes a long way, but if you wanted to make a thinner consistency milk, you could simply find just a nut milk bag. You can really get these at any grocery store. It's kind of like a cheese cloth. You could even use something like that. You put it around a bowl here and then we're just gonna add in the milk. So a lot of that pulp will come through, and the nice thing is you don't have to waste anything. You can use the pulp in baked goods, you can throw it in smoothies, you could actually make a nut crust with it if you wanted for a pie. And then we're gonna take that netting, kind of squeeze it out a little bit. So make sure it's nice squeezed out, and then we're just gonna throw it in our milk container. So you have a delicious homemade milk, no added fillers or stabilizers, no carrageenan. 